Discotech stands for Disability Community Technology. The idea was to take four musicians with special needs to enable them to fulfill all their fantasies and musical dreams. We have four different musicians with four different challenges, four different teams working on four different floors to create four working prototypes. I was born uh, without a hand. I've always wanted to be able to play so I can perform by myself. The main challenge was to build the actual extension and at the same time to make the feel and the sound of the actual strumming of the guitar pick to sound like an actual arm. When I was 18, I been uh, through an, a snowboarding accident. Since then, I'm on a wheelchair. We are trying to combine few instruments together. Uh, an harmonica and a microphone and a special kind of guitar. Everything will be connected to a looper. It's all modular that you can actually disconnect and connect it back. So my project here is to be a one-man band. Roy now is 18 years old. We discover when he was 15 months that he has a brain tumor. After the operation, we discovered that he's blind. Also, he became autistic. And after um, two months, he started to play. Because Roy is handicapped and he has a weakness all of his left side. He play with uh, his right hands with four fingers and the left hand with only one finger. What we did is we use one finger he has on his left hand and whenever he uh, hits a note, we turn it into a chord by supplying him the ability to set the type of the chord using his legs. Ofer Green is a very talented electronic musician. He was a student of mine. He has Mahado Joseph disease. When I met him, he could still move a little bit and talk a little bit. And uh, after a while, his situation worsened. We will create a system that will send MIDI notes to the, the program so he can write scores. There's going to be the camera that follows the eyes, functions as a joystick. He can use his right pinky. This is going to be his click. And the music that he hears inside his head can get on the computer and from there to your ears. We have here 3D printers, electronics, and Arduino. Everybody's a musician and a programmer and a mathematician. And designers and the most talented, brilliant people. Wow! So it's kind of fun, you know, like I'm hacking and in the background people are jamming in different, you know, prototypes all over. It was really fun. All the people that came here, they are volunteers. It's a project for them, and for me it's more than a project, it's my son, and this is his life. These four people represent so many people out there that will need these things and can benefit from them in the long term. It's good for people with special needs, but it's also good for hobbyists, it's also good for children, and it's also good for professional musicians. The main goal and ambition here is to make music accessible to as many people as possible. I've, n I've never even thought that I could play. I never even thought about it. Said it was Music has been my uh, psychologist, it's been my uh, lover, it's been my best friend. It saved me, it really saved me. I think music is the most powerful medium you know in the world and when you combine that with technology which is uh, a massive enabler i think that's the perfect blend the main idea behind this event is to create continuity without boundaries i really really hope it's not the last event i really hope that it will uh, grow not just in israel but everywhere. Disco tech is going to help a lot of people. Rock on.